Here's a really cool one from Cronacker on Twitter. It says, I need to build a button that when you click it, it shows a loader, something like this, but I don't want the button to change its width, right? It should stay the same size. But I also don't want to set a fixed width on it because you don't know how big the text of the button is going to be. Ideally, the largest contents should size the button itself. So there's a couple of replies to it, which are getting close, but I think I have the best approach to it that is both accessible and takes into account that the spinner itself could be larger than the initial item. So what we want to do here is we have a button that I toggle the class of loading on and off. Then I have a span with the text of save item and a span with a spinner inside of it. And basically right now I'm just display none and display inline toggling between the two when you click those, right? So what a lot of people have said is use opacity zero um, because that will allow the items to still uh, be on the page, meaning that they, they still take up the amount of width that they have. So if we took this display none and change that to opacity zero and change the spinner display inline to opacity one, um, you'll see here that we, we toggle between the two, right? So let's, let's leave it at that for now. That, that's okay. But now they need to be put on top of each other. So a couple of people said use position absolute, right? Um, absolute the spinner and stack it on top of the saving item. However, that assumes that the spinner is smaller than the actual saving item, which is not always the case. Um, often my button will say save item. And then in a loading state, I'll say saving item right so it needs to be much bigger so what you can do here is use css grid to stack them on top of each other i should have another video where i showed this with um, overlapping elements but it's also really good for buttons so we're going to go to our button and we are going to display grid on the button and we're going to turn it into a grid of one column and one row basically one cell um, and previously i showed you with grid template columns one grid template rows one but you can actually also use grid template areas and make a named area called stack. So that what that did is it made a one by one column called stack. And then we're going to go into our spinner and give it a grid area of stack. And then we'll also uh, put that on our text. So we're going to put them on top of each other. Now, if I take the opacity of the spinner off real quick, you'll see, okay, now the items are stacked on top of each other and the largest item is going to define how big it is. So in my case, save item is lar the largest. And if I made that larger, the button gets larger. But if there was a case where my saving item was, was longer, watch, now the button gets, gets larger because it's the, the biggest one. So by using grid, we are allowing the largest grid child or grid item to size the grid itself, which is pretty nifty. Now, instead of using opacity, because the problem with opacity is that most screen readers will still pick it up. So I have my accessibility tool open here. And if you look at the button itself, the computed name of this button is save item, saving item. And it's picking that up both from the text as well as I've put an ARIA label on the span here because I don't actually have text. It's just a spinner, right? And if you can't see a spinner, you don't know what that is. So how do we toggle between the two? If I use display none and display block, it would fix it, but then we're giving up the space. So the fix there is instead of opacity zero, you use visibility hidden, and that will hide the element, but still allow it to uh, use space. And then instead of opacity one, we simply use visibility visible. And now when I click on the item here, you'll see that the computed property name of that button is changing between saving item and save item. And they are totally stacked on top of each other. Again, if I were to put some text inside of this, um, I would then need to take the ARIA label off because now the, the text is defining it. Now the bigger item, which is saving, defines how big that should be. So CSS grid, use that instead of absolute position. Visibility, use that instead of opacity.